Hello everyone, I am Danny from Huawei Data Storage and Intelligent Vision product line. Today I will introduce the key technologies of SMB on Ocean Store Dorado All Flash Storage. SMB, also called Server Message Block, is a protocol widely applied for file sharing. Microsoft led the development of SMB, which is a major file sharing protocol running on Windows networks. SMB has rich authentication and authorization mechanisms and is highly secure. SMB also provides client-based caching mechanism to improve performance. Currently, SMB has three major versions, SMB 1.0, SMB 2.0, and SMB 3.0. SMB 1.0 was developed in the DOS era. The then LAN speed was less than 10 megabits per second. Therefore, the numbers of files, shares, and users supported by 1.0 was limited. Now Microsoft has stopped maintaining this version and the corresponding Windows operating systems. Therefore, this version is not recommended. SMB 2.0 is completely redefined based on 1.0. First, SMB 2.0 reduces the number of command words from hundreds to just 19. Second, 2.0 introduces a client-side caching mechanism, lease, which is more efficient than oplop. Third, it supports a larger transmission MTU. Therefore, SMB 2.0 provides better performance. 2.0 also introduces durable handles to ensure reliability. This mechanism enables the interrupted communication between the client and the storage system to automatically restore. SMB 3.0 is fully compatible with SMB 2.0 in terms of basic command words. 3.0 further improves the reliability by introducing persistent handles. With this mechanism, if a controller fails, services can be quickly switched to another controller and services on the clients are recovered. In this way, SMB service continuity is maintained. Currently, Ocean Store Dorado supports mainstream SMB 2.0 and 3.0 and does not support 1.0, which has been phased out. The following table lists the SMB versions supported by mainstream Windows operating systems. Next, let's see how SMB implements user management and permission control. On this slide, the SMB versions involved include only SMB 2.0 and SMB 3.0. In terms of user management, Ocean Store Dorado supports SMB local user management and AD domain user management. When the local user management mode is used, SMB users, passwords, and user groups are stored on a storage system. These users can be used only by this storage system. This mode suits small scale file sharing scenarios. The AD domain user management mode can be used to manage a larger number of users and user groups. These users and user groups can be shared by multiple storage systems. By using the parent, child, and trusted domains within the AD domain, this mode suits extra large scale file sharing scenarios. AD domain authentication supports NTLM authentication and Kerberos authentication. NTLM authentication is mainly used in early Windows workgroup environments. The authentication process is relatively simple. Each authentication requires interaction between the client, storage system, and domain controller, resulting in high overhead and inefficiency. If you use Windows NT as a client or use an IP address instead of a domain name to access NAS, NTLM authentication is used by default. Kerberos authentication is a ticket-based authentication mode. The client and storage system must be added to the same AD domain. The client purchases the ticket for accessing the storage system from the AD domain controller. The domain controller authenticates the client identity and issues the ticket. When the client obtains the ticket and tries to access the storage device, the ticket is encrypted by the key derived from the password registered by the storage device. Therefore, the storage system can verify the correctness of the ticket without the involvement of the domain controller. Based on Kerberos authentication, the storage system does not need to interact with the domain controller every time, considerably reducing the authentication process overhead. In large-scale SBM file sharing services, 
the AD Domain plus Kerberos authentication mode is generally used. To ensure SMB security, data can be signed or encrypted to improve the security level. SMB 3.0 has more secure signature and encryption algorithms than 2.0. In terms of file permissions, SMB supports ACL permission management. It can control over 10 types of file operation permissions based on users and user groups. The permission list is similar to that of NFS v4 ACL we have discussed in the previous video. OceanStore Dorado supports the failover function of SMB 3.0. This function is implemented based on the persistent handles. Persistent handles store the context of file operations and are the key metadata for ensuring service continuity. The storage system synchronizes the handles among multiple controllers and ensures that the handles are not lost. If a controller fails, the storage system switches the corresponding IP address to another controller. After detecting the link change, the client automatically restores services based on the handles. OceanStore Dorado can restore the handles on another controller to ensure service continuity. SMB 2.0 inherently does not provide the function of preventing node faults. Instead, SMB 2.0 provides durable handles to quickly recover services in reconnection of links. OceanStore Dorado backs up SMB 2.0 durable handles on multiple controllers. In addition, OceanStore Dorado reduces storage failover duration to just several seconds. As a result, if a controller fails, SMB 2.0 clients can also use durable handles to quickly recover services, just like in the link fault scenarios. Therefore, OceanStore Dorado supports failover when either SMB 3.0 or SMB 2.0 is used. In terms of performance, OceanStore Dorado supports two types of client cache locks, oplock and lease. Oplock is supported in SMB 2.0 and later versions, and lease is supported in SMB 2.1 and later versions. Oplock can only be used for sharing lock information without a single application. An application that has obtained the Oplock can use the client memory as the cache to improve SMB I.O. performance and reduce the network load. When another application requests access to the same file, the storage system detects the lock conflict, recalls the Oplock obtained by the original application and provides the Oplock to this application. Lease is enhanced over Oplock and expands the sharing scope from a single application to multiple applications on a client. These applications can share the lease lock and client cache. The lock is recalled only when another client requests access to the locked file. Oplock and lease locks can use client cache to greatly improve SMB performance. However, if multiple clients frequently access the same file, Lock recall is repeatedly triggered, reducing the performance. Therefore, you are advised to disable oplock and lease functions in particular scenarios. Last, let's have a look at some advanced features of SMB. The first is home directory. When creating a file system share, we can specify it as a home directory share. Then the storage system automatically creates a personal working directory for each user who accesses the file. Users can view only their respective working directories. Home directory can be used to quickly create file shares similar to personal web disks, which are mainly used in file office scenarios. The second is notify. This function allows a client to implement notify registration for a specific file folder. When another client changes the files in the folder, the storage system proactively notifies the registered client to refresh the directory. This ensures ease of use. Currently, OceanStore Dorado v3 supports only the notify function for level one directories because this function will affect the performance of subsequent levels of directories. However, for folders that are frequently changed, this function will impair the performance to some extent. Therefore, you are advised to enable this function in office scenarios that do not require high performance. The last is access-based enumeration, also known as ABE. It is a directory enumeration function based on permissions. When the ABE function is enabled and a client opens a directory on a storage system, the storage system determines whether the user is permitted to access the files or directories in the directory and then determines whether or not to display the directories and files. The storage system hides the files and directories that the user is not permitted to access. This improves security and privacy 
by preventing users who have no permissions from guessing and attacking some key files by using file names. And that concludes my presentation and thank you for watching.